A few weeks ago, I made a TikTok poll about two high quality inline brands, Carhartt Work in Progress and Levi's Made and Crafted. In the poll, the Carhartt boys totally destroyed the Levi's lads, but I thought it would be a fun topic to divulge deeper on in a longer form video here on YouTube. Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew What It Do, and for those of you who already knew that, bop. I appreciate you so much for tuning into this video. Today's video is a discussion based video. So if you want to be a part of the discussion, comment something down in the comment section. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about car work in progress. Levi's made and crafted is car better is Levi's better. Let's get into the video. <laughs> The importance of history shouldn't be understated, especially when it comes to two of the most historically decorated fashion apparel workwear brands in America's history. Let's start with a quick rundown of Levi's Made and Crafted, as well as Carl Work in Progress, starting with the Made and Crafted line. Beginning in 2009, Levi's Made and Crafted was created to introduce elevated fabrics, cuts, and garments to Levi's product offerings. The reason why this sect of the Levi's company is so important is because over over the course of the last um some years, the quality of Levi's has somewhat diminished due to the fact that they've outsourced a lot of their manufacturing for cheaper manufacturing or in order to create a higher profit. This collection of the Levi's made and crafted line is a nod to quality and craftsmanship, which a lot of people appreciate, obviously. One of the major distinctions of the Levi's Made and Crafted line is understanding how large Levi's as a company has grown from the course of its history to 2009 when Levi's Made and Crafted began. It's tough for someone who was born in the 90s to truly understand the gravity of how large Levi's is, but to really think about it and look back on the history of the company to where it is in 2009 to where it began, it's unprecedented and I believe it has a very, very strong grip on what influences fashion as a whole especially when it comes to denim. The Made and Crafted line also distances itself from other parts of Levi's mainline clothing brand in which it has editorial pieces, photography, showcasings that elicit moods and themes for the collections, which typically isn't something that Levi's done or doesn't do to this level with their mainline clothing. Fast forward to 2021 and the latest kind of Levi's Made and Crafted collection is an homage to, I believe, navigation and a little bit of an homage to cultural enclaves in the New York area. One of the photographers that they use tried to elicit a certain mood about cultural enclaves and different cultural distinctions between New Yorkers. And I feel like it's a really interesting collection for them. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of Carhartt. Started in 1989, Carhartt Work in Progress ushered in a new idea for the working class. Similar to Levi's Made and Crafted, the Work in Progress line for Carhartt was created to test the boundaries of creativity and push the limitations of the idea of modern workwear. One of the more interesting distinctions with the work in progress line compared to the made and crafted is this implementation and this influence of Europe. Because the Carl work in progress line actually was started in Europe in 1989, there's a distinct nuance that I feel like adds to the character of what Carl work in progress is and their product offerings. And over the last 30 years, it's been incredible to see kind of the range in which Carl work in progress has showed us from their product offerings compared to the their more classic workwear, ripstop cargos, double knees theme, even though they implement some of those aspects into the work in progress line. It's just very, very, like I said, interesting to see how they've been able to implement what they've been doing for the last 30 years with the car work in progress line. With collaborations with the likes of APC and Junior Watanabe, it's uncanny to see how culturally relevant the Carhartt work in progress line is in the modern era. And in my opinion, even though this is in the history portion of the Carhartt work in progress segment, I believe that Carhartt has transcended the idea of modern workwear and creates clothing in tandem with with art and sophistication. There's so many different ways that we can talk about the history of car work in progress, but I think in 2021, what they've recently been up to is work in progress magazine, their Hong Kong double decker wrap on the bus or the, the transit system in Hong Kong and the latest items in circulation for the fall.
The debate between the brands might seem like an obvious one to you, with one brand having a distinct and clear path to victory, and the other one being somewhat of an underdog. Definitely, there could be that argument, but I, I believe that in any argument, you want to showcase the good and bad for both. You want to talk about why one brand has more prevalence than the other, and we're talking about clothes here, so let's talk about the clothes. <laughs> let's talk about the good for both Carl Work in Progress and Levi's Made and Crafted. Compared to Levi's Made and Crafted, I think the storytelling, editorial work, and photography is on another level for Carhartt Work in Progress. Just by taking one glance at both of their Instagrams, and you'll clearly see the seasoned veteran that Carhartt Work in Progress is when it comes to curating an idea versus what Levi's Made and Crafted has. And even though it's not bad by Levi's Made and Crafted, you can just tell there's a night and day distinction between just their Instagrams and the visual representation of their Instagrams and what they have to offer in terms of their storytelling and product development and just everything that they bring to the table when it comes to the visual aspects of that brand. One of my personal favorite collaborations between Car at Work in Progress and another brand was the Car at Work in Progress Le Art de la Automobile. Uh, collaboration which showcased a ton of different green workwear items that was just unbelievably beautiful from two brands that really understand how to create that mood in order to encapsulate what they're trying to display with the clothing and i know my french speakers are kind of sighing right now because of the way i pronounced that let me try one more time le art de l'automobile Okay, that wasn't that wasn't as bad as bad maybe. <laughs> but speaking on the collaboration again, from the art to the just the way the clothing looked, man, oh man, Carhar, if you guys are watching this video, if the work in progress team is watching this video, chef's kiss, fellas and ladies and everybody in between. <laughs> Now looking on the other side of the spectrum, talking about Levi's Made and Crafted. Like I said before, I don't think Levi's Made and Crafted photography, editorial, and storytelling is bad. I just think it's on a different level than Carhartt's. It's important to make that distinction between the two. One of my personal favorite Levi's collaborations was the collaboration was a Levi's Made and Crafted collaboration. Well, it wasn't with, it was a Japan made fall winter 2020 collection and it was unbelievable. From the garments to the photography to the way they showcase the clothing, really, really well done and really, really beautifully done. And this is what I'm saying. Like the distinction is, is like, Car Work in Progress did what they did with, you know, Le Art de la Automobile, and this made in Japan or Japan made, excuse me, Levi's made and crafted line was also pretty comparable. I just think Carhartt has more of those um, collaborations and photos and editorial work. They have more of that under their belt than Levi's Made and Crafted does. But I could be wrong. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Some of the similarities between the brands include the quality of the clothing with the price points reflect that quality. Both brands have also had relatively and not relatively pretty noteworthy collaborations with Carl Work in Progress collaborating with Junior Watanabe, like I mentioned earlier, and the Levi's Made in Crafted line actually collaborating with Virgil Abloh. But where I think the car brand, like I've been saying, takes it to another level is the fact that they have this longevity aspect on their side. There's something that needs to be said for a brand that's been culturally relevant for the last 25 plus years and continues to grow in cultural rele relevance in the modern age. And this is where it gets a little bit hard to compare Levi's Made and Crafted to car work in progress because of the fact that you're comparing, a, for example, a basketball example, a 2007 LeBron James legacy to a year 19 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar legacy. They're just not going to be comparable because one player, one individual, one brand is in one path, one course, or at a certain point in their career, while another player is in another point and path in their career and that's kind of the the distinction i would like to make between the two and for those of you who didn't get the basketball reference let me see if i can think of another one on the spot yeah this is a good one it's like comparing a very very ripe piece of fruit to a fruit that is slowly budding up the ripe piece of fruit is car art work in progress you bite into it it tastes good it's juicy and the Levi's Made and Crafted line is still sprouting up, still needs more time to grow and develop into that ripe fruit that I think it'll become. 
<laughs> and one more thing if you, if you didn't get the basketball reference once this discord goes live we're gonna be watching a little bit of basketball i'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about the game you feel me and if you want to join the discord keep your uh keep your eyes peeled for when i announce the uh the link on a more serious note what do you think who ranks higher in your eyes maybe you're just learning about car work in progress and levi's made and crafted which one visually appeals to you the most? There's a lot of different elements and history between the both of them. Obviously, like I said, the Carhartt line has more history, but what do you think? I've honestly yet to purchase an item from either Carhartt Work in Progress or Levi's Made and Crafted, but I plan to do so in the future. In my opinion, once again, I feel like the Carhartt Work in Progress line is in a totally different league of its own when it comes to popularity to the Levi's Made and Crafted line. But there is something I do like about the fact that the Levi's Made and Crafted line is a little bit underrated is kind of the underdog in comparison between these two brands because it makes their product offerings somewhat more accessible. Now, when we're talking about collaborations, that might be a different story, but I like having items that are actually accessible. Price point might be another thing because obviously price point dictates whether or not you can actually afford to purchase said piece. But the fact that it's accessible at a certain price point, whether it be high or low, is very, very appealing. I do, of course, think Levi's needs to step up from their product offering and storytelling standpoint, and I believe that they will do so and will be compelled to do so for years and years to come. Carhartt has the storytelling, has the magazine, and has the energy right now that I feel like a lot of brands try to strive for. But I do have to say, when I went to New York last September, I actually checked out the Carhartt Work in Progress store on, in Soho, or one of the stores i don't know how many they have and i was a little bit put off by the customer service in the store it does have something to say for the brand it's my first touch point of a retail store and the, and the courtesy and the customer service wasn't really like didn't blow me away in any way and maybe it's just that new york mentality people are a little bit more rugged but kindness and courtesy Anybody could do that, and it doesn't make you a less cool person, that's for sure. Either way, how dope would it be if I was able to do what I do with the vlog pickup series and actually go into like a car or work in progress store or a Levi's made and crafted establishment and then do pickups videos after that? That would be sick. If car or work in progress or Levi's made and crafted wants to do that, Let's make it happen. I know I know the content will be fire. <laughs> in my opinion, the final absolute verdict of this video is I feel as though Car Work in Progress takes the crown as the most distinguished brand between the two, but by no means does that mean that Levi's Made and Crafted isn't fire and sometimes more fire than Car Work in Progress. But I feel like if we're talking about a versus match, if you know they fought 10 times car work in progress probably wins six or seven times versus levi's made and crafted three or four so but personally i actually like levi's more i wear more levi's and enjoy their product offerings much much more so i feel like for me personally if i were going to divulge and invest in either car work in progress or levi's made and crafted i'm going to be spending my money at levi's made and crafted but that's just me. And my opinion shouldn't be the only opinion on the subject matter. What do you think? Hmm? You watching this video right now? What what do you think, huh? You've been watching this video for the last let's let's 10, 15 minutes, maybe. What 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 I've I said it a lot. Get your fingers moving and comment what you think. <laughs> comment what you think. <laughs> do you like the made and crafted line more by Levi's or the work in progress line by Carhartt? why did i miss out on anything did i not say something that was super super important to either car or levi's made and crafted did i miss out something comment that down in the comment section and as always i'm spreading peace love and positivity in 2021 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day and the reason why i say that every single video you guys every single video is because of there is this quote in this movie called I Am Legend. If you know about it, it's about like this kind of it's a, it's a it's a good movie. It's it has Will Smith in it. It's kind of about this like zombie apocalypse thing. And there is this quote in there by Bob Marley or Will Smith said about Bob Marley. And he said that the people who are trying to make the world a worse place aren't taking a day off. So why should I? And that quote was said in reference to when Bob Marley was, he, he someone came and attempted to murder Bob Marley, and he still performed at a concert after his murderer attempted to kill him. And he said that people who are trying to make the world a worse place aren't taking a day off. So how can I? 
And I think the same thing as someone who feels a, a very powerful, positive energy within them to let you guys know I'm spreading peace, love and positivity to you on a weekly basis because we all need it. The world is a complicated and a very, very tough place to live in. And we all need more positivity. And by no means does this solve anybody's problems, but hopefully it helps. So Abianto, I'll see you guys later. He said, the people who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. How can I? She you made it to the post vid vid. How's it, how's it feel? Like how how you feel to be a part of the 0.001% that, that made it to the post vid vid? You know what that deserves, right? Bop. Bop. I appreciate you guys so much for staying to this point. For real. How did you guys like the vid? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was it not enough? Should I talk longer? Did I talk too much? Let me know what you thought down in the comment section. I'm curious. Now, I saw this question a while ago. I actually asked this question a while ago. What is more valuable, time or attention? Answer that down in the comment section for me if you watch this point. What's more valuable, time or attention? I'm curious to know. Also, your boy was on Complex this week, which is insane. From being on the YouTuber on the rise to being on Complex has been unbelievable. It's been an unbelievable week. And I've had time to kind of reflect on both of these things happening and i honestly can say i wouldn't be where i am without you watching this video literally the one percent who watched the end the people who always comment the people who are just incredibly incredibly kind it's just unbelievable to me that you guys will comment and and you know text me and dm me you know congratulations but parts of my own family, parts of my own friends, they just don't understand the significance of all the work it's taken to uh, accomplish the things that I've been able to accomplish, which for them, they might not think it's, they, they might think it's nothing. But I know you guys got my back and I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, it, it's really unbelievable to kind of see the growth of everything. And, and it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys one more time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're watching on Sunday, have a wonderful rest of your week. If you're watching on Monday, have a wonderful rest of your week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every, every day applies. I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>